I will, uh, I will try to apply some of those steps to learning how to pronounce go, so thank you for that presentation. It's that hard, man. <laughs> Next, we have Professor Dallas Snyder. He is an associate professor in the Departments of Information Technology and Computer Science at the University of West Florida. He received his PhD in Integrated Computing from the University of Arkansas at Little Rock and a BA in Physics from Hendricks College. Before joining UWF, he worked at a data warehouse developer for North Northrop Grumman. Yeah. <laughs> Information systems, and prior to that, he was a database application developer for Axiom. Dr. Snyder's teachings and research interests include data mining, data warehousing, information visualization, cybersecurity, and software development. Please welcome Dallas Snyder. Thank you. All right, one of the uh, premises of Ignite is that you can introduce a new concept or a new topic. So I'm going to introduce our new Department of Information Technology at the University of West Florida. Okay. So the uh, Information Technology Department was spread amongst two different colleges. And so there were two different sets of advisors and we, what we decided on that it needed to be all under one college. So this summer, we moved the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology degree program under the Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering. A new department was then formed, the UWF Department of Information Technology. It was split off from the existing computer science department. And with this department, we have 231 students. And so the 231 students are currently uh, pursuing their bachelor's degree in information technology. And uh, our students are not just your typical 18 to 22 year olds, they are, have a wide diversity in age and in backgrounds. Our full-time faculty is Dr. Lakshmi Prayaga and myself, and we have a few adjunct faculty who uh, teach at night, also teach online. But we don't have enough faculty. And so we, are ha we will advertise for an instructor position sometime this fall to uh, start probably next fall. So if you are out there and you're looking to do something different and you have a master's degree and some type of professional certification or you know someone, let us know or watch the job board. Our staff, we have Jeremy Hatcher, he is our academic advisor, and we have Paige Graves. She's our office administrator, so if you call the main number, you'll get to talk to Paige, and she does a wonderful job. Our interim department chair is Dr. Matthew, Dr. Matthew Schwartz. He's associate dean of the Hal Marcus College of Science and Engineering. And his goal, or his, his job right now, is to guide us through the process of creating a new department and making changes to the degree program. It's not a trivial process. It goes through many levels of approvals, both here in Pensacola on campus and in Tallahassee. So our long-term goal is to become accredited through the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. To have this IT program accredited, we would join only two other schools in the state of Florida, and that would be North Florida and Central Florida. Uh, South Alabama, their IT program uh, is also accredited. Some of the changes we're making make the curriculum more rigorous and also give the students more hands-on learning opportunities. And through these hands-on learning opportunities, we will be pursuing more internships and co-ops for our students. And so we appreciate the students that you hire for interns. We appreciate you hiring our graduates. But we wish, we'd like for you to continue that and we have more of those. Well, some of the challenges we have is uh, some of our online courses, teaching uh, networks in an online environment. You can imagine that might be a little difficult. We're looking for solutions th for that through Cisco and through other network vendors. Other challenge is the name of the department itself. Uh, currently at UWF, we have our Information Technology Services, also known as ITS. They're the people you call if your computer's not working on campus or you have a network issue, they're the people you call. So on our website, we make sure that if you have a computer problem on campus, call ITS. Other curriculum changes we're making is that we're separating the Applied Information Technology courses from the Theoretical Computer Science courses. And so we're still doing that, and probably it'll take us about a, a, probably a, a couple more semesters to make those changes. 
Uh, courses such as Introduction to Java and Introduction to C++ will still be taught through the Computer Science Department. Also, I need to mention Complete Florida. Michelle Horton, uh, through Complete Florida, she was at our table uh, today and yesterday. Uh, it's a program to help Floridians complete their college degree. So if you know someone who uh, would like to complete their degree in networking, uh, just let us know and get them in contact with Complete Florida. Also, we are involved with research. Dr. Priaga and I are both uh, associate professors, so we are, are part of our obligation is to perform research, and so we're doing research in information technology. Another thing I'd like to ask you about is think about serving on our advisory board. We're going to be uh, soliciting for members of our advisory board to let us know where we can do better, and we just don't want people just to rubber stamp and say, yeah, you're doing great. We want to know, we want to make sure where, that we can improve and we're serving the community, community's needs. Uh, so, I know Ignite, there's no questions, no time for questions, so please contact me later if you do have questions. Thank you.